check the hole for a possible crash in it. I'll be back in five minutes to check on you. Okay. Sudden unexpected immersion in cold water is a tremendous shock to the body and mind. Initially, there will be an overwhelming tendency to gasp, to try to catch your breath. Try to control this. In a few moments, this feeling will pass. If you panic at this point, you will most likely drown. Robin, the life boy sentry is on duty. He should pick me up. Should have picked Help! me up. Well, keep calm. Develop a plan of action. Help! There's always something you can do. Help! 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 Surface blood vessels and muscles Help! constrict quickly. This forms Help! a cold outer shell which slows heat loss to the body core. Help! But a consequence of this constriction is that muscle function deteriorates rapidly. Within minutes, any physical movement will be difficult. Conserve energy. Don't panic. Don't move. Don't kick. Stay as still as possible. Try and keep your head out of the water. The buffer will be looking for me. He'll notice. Please, God, let him notice. Shivering becomes violent and uncontrollable. You will soon feel more miserable than you ever thought possible. If you give up now, you will die. A strong will to survive is the key. It is your only chance. The buffer will look for me. He won't find me. Then he'll report to the bridge. <laughs> Recent studies have shown that even in very cold water, if you hold still, survival time can be more than an hour. If you try to swim or even tread water, cooling is accelerated by as much as 35%. Mr. Watcher? Mr. Watcher? I left without your chocolate in the work boat. I've been looking at the ship and I can't find him anywhere. Do you check to see if it was in his bunk? Yes, sir, I have. Starboard 10. Starboard 10. Can I get the Bolton mate to make a pipe? Bolton mate, can you pipe Petty Officer Charles in 213, please? First, they'll make a pipe. Petty Officer Charles in 213. Petty Officer Charles in 213. Petty Officer Charles in 213. Petty Officer Charles is not responding. No surprise to me. Survival is dependent on finding ways of preventing further heat loss. You can reduce cooling rate by as much as 25 to 30 percent simply by adopting a good position. Curl up. The idea is to present the smallest possible surface area to the cold. Remember especially to protect the armpits, chest and groin. You may not feel warmer, but you have just gained an extra 30 to 60 minutes of survival time. They'll do a verification muster now. Verification muster, verification muster. Knowing that you are doing something concrete to promote survival will give you the psychological strength to persist. Ship's company is mustering, sir. I should start getting reports in a couple of minutes. I understand that the uh, possibility fell overboard a, uh, a couple of minutes back. Doc, 
I bet that right now the captain is being briefed by the Met A. Come on, Kenny. Tell him to turn the ship around. I can't last out here much longer. We can get him. The sooner we can get him out, the better, sir. Do not attempt to remove clothing or boots. Water has a great capacity to draw heat out of the body, and clothing, although not very comfortable, does provide protection. The heavier the clothing, the greater the increase in your survival time. Step on it, guys. Come on, what step if he's on it. A, uh, his normal life jacket for in the boat. Well, his chance will be cut in half. If there is wreckage or debris in the water, climb on it. The more you get your body out of the water, the slower the core cooling. Understand that you will feel much colder in the air and wind, but in fact, you are much warmer. The feeling of cold is only skin deep. You must believe this. The cops will have the verification musters now. They'll know for sure. casualty has progressed into severe immersion hypothermia. He is unconscious. is spotted, orders are given to launch the sea boat. It is much more maneuverable than the ship. Oh, man. that the casualty will be extremely hypothermic. For this reason, an advanced first aider is with them. On the way out, the first aider briefs his crew. The first priority is to prevent further heat loss. He reminds them to handle the casualty gently and to try and keep him as horizontal as possible. He cautions them that although there is no time to waste at this point, a few extra minutes taken in the interests of gentle handling will not hurt the casualty's chances at all. To do otherwise will risk cardiac emergency. The Navy diver attaches the rescue collar. The casualty is positioned alongside and with the diver lifting and supporting from the water, the crew lifts him on board, taking care to protect the neck. Wrap the casualty in a thermal blanket. Cover his head to prevent further heat loss. Assess breathing and pulse. 
take your time. The pulse may be so slow and weak that it seems absent. Skin is blue, pupils are dilated. I found a weak pulse. Okay, I want you to start a full body check. Start at his leg, his feet, work up his leg. We'll start on the arm, check his neck. Make a quick examination so that the ship's med aid can be advised of any other injuries for which he should prepare. Reports are relayed back to the ship. The first aid team prepares the wardroom. Blankets are already being warmed in the ship's dryers. The med a has decided that it is best for the casualty, smoother and steadier, that he be brought on board via the basket stretcher. The first aider coordinates the crew in the whaler. Once the casualty is securely fastened, the stretcher is raised. As before, it is essential that he be kept horizontal. Extra blankets are ready for him. He is then evacuated to the wardroom. monitors vital signs. The first priority is to dry the casualty. Carefully cut away the life jacket and wet clothing. Trying to remove these articles any other way would cause excessive manipulation of the limbs. Loosen the boots. When the clothing has been completely cut away, the casualty can be lifted onto the table and rewarming can proceed. Wrap him in a warm, dry blanket. Never attempt to rub the limbs. Treat the casualty as though he has a broken back or neck. Anything but the most careful, gentle handling can trigger a cardiac emergency. Your rescue will be futile if you are not gentle. Cover the head, neck, and trunk. Leave the extremities free. Any external heat, such as hot water bottles, should be applied only to the trunk. Continue to monitor breathing and pulse. Plan ahead. Ensure that someone knows your location, especially if you are working in a hazardous situation. Always wear a personal flotation device when you are on or near water.
Consciously try to control breathing for the first few minutes following sudden immersion in cold water. Don't move. Conserve energy. Avoid fatigue. Keep your head out of the water. Assume the help position. Limit the surface area of the body which is exposed to the water. Keep as much of the body as possible out of the water. Do not attempt to remove clothes. Although not very comfortable, clothing provides protection. Keep calm. Develop a plan of action. Remember your training. 